One of my favorite books, and one that I've read and listened to many times, is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. And there's a well-worn saying that comes from this book that I believe is being neglected. It's the, at the end of uh, chapter 3, and it says, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. The thing that prompted me to make this video was actually my response to a well-known Christian apologist slash preacher here on YouTube named Jack, aka Together for Peace. His video entitled Atheist Agenda, in which he holds out the example of what Thunderfoot has now called a civil war in the atheist community, as a firm example of religious-like behavior on the part of atheists, and how, a since atheists don't have a central figure like Christians do, I think he means Jesus, that atheists and atheistic ideals are, in fact, more dangerous than religious ones. I responded directly to that, but in my response, I pointed out what atheism means to the atheist community. I did not mean this to be an alternative definition of the word atheism, but rather defining, but rather a defining quality that makes the atheist community a community in any sense. Atheism is a term to describe the objections people make in the face of what they see as unjustified and unjustifiable claims made by religious people. This definition of atheism is the one that applies to the atheist and free thinking community because the only common thread we all share is that we make noise in objection to religious claims made by religious people about the nature of reality and morals because we recognize the harm it's doing to society, to individuals, the human race, intellectual discourse, uh, uh, moral and technological progress, and or uh, education. And for whatever reason we, we want, and, and have chosen to make those noises on a public forum. This is literally the only thing that all the members of this community have in common. Our strategies are different, our backgrounds are different, our talents are different, our approaches, our professions, our hobbies, our races, our maturity levels, uh, all these things are different, and more. And this is our strength, not our weakness. This realization should make the following statements from Thunderfoot in a recent interview sound quite mad. There was a time when there was a significant degree of homogeneity in the what I will call the atheist community, and that is, I think, a, a fantastic thing. And that if you actually take a look at America, it's what, ninety percent religious, ten percent non-religious atheist, that sort of thing. And if you want to shift those demographics. If you waste your time with infighting, you, you greatly diminish your ability to sort of propound themes. And so, you know, the, the simplest way to look at it would be, I mean, it, it's divide and conquer. If you've got two armies of, say, ten people, and you can convince two of your enemies to fight two of the other, you've reduced their operational efficiency by 40% without actually doing anything yourself. So there is this element that if you waste your time with infighting, you greatly, all the time that you're doing the infighting, you're not actually propounding your message. And yes, I do recognize what Thunderfoot is attempting to say by talking about how atheists uh, were united in the beginning, um, our homogeneity, uh, and how division can make a group weaker. But with atheism, and the atheist community, that's just not how it works. Our differences and our willingness to argue and dispute our differences in our different ways in order to create the heat from which the light of reason can be seen by all 
is our strength. Our unity under the banner of ATHEISM is not required. And quite frankly, the mere suggestion made by Thunderfoot in some of his videos and in this interview that, like a religion, the so-called atheist community is weaker because of the divisions and infighting. Um, and this notion would be laughable were it not were it not for the fact that he's the most popular atheist here on YouTube and he's surrounded by a cult of personality. Atheism as the act of opposing religion is a temporary uniting force that will not remain after the culture war between faith and reason, between science and religion, is over. Whoever wins. The atheist community and the so and so-called new atheism is not and cannot be a united army in any major sense. And in my mind, it should never be a united army. Because if we present a united front, religion can handle that. It's been doing it for hundreds, if not thousands of years against other religions. What's different about the atheist community and the reason that new atheism is having so much of an is so much of an impact on culture is because religion and religious people have no idea what, who, or where to defend or attack. They have no idea. Because of this uncertainty, religious people have come up with ideas like new atheism, the atheist community, atheistic worldview, etc., in an attempt to identify their enemy. When in fact, their enemy is their ignorance about their own scripture, about science, about the internet, about their motivations for believing their own religious claims, and even their ignorance of their own ignorance. And above all this, their enemy is their inability to think without restrictions. The only division in the so-called atheist community is the one that Thunderfoot and some of his empty-headed followers are creating by not knowing themselves or the enemy and speaking and acting as if Thunderfoot is some sort of general of an army called the atheist community. Thunderfoot, you may be the most popular atheist here on YouTube, but you are not a general, or a commander, or a pope, or a leader of any kind. You're just another member of a temporary legion of people whose enemies have called atheism. A united front? A homogeneity of atheists? These are good things? No. If we must give up who and what we are to conform in order to win, we're not defeating religion. We're becoming one. I have captured the enemy for meat testing. Praise me! Praise me!